Shalom. Before I begin this video, first and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Rahava Kakwadash, and double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that continually rule very well to this very day. Let's continually feed the flock through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. And Shalom to the whole elect that is also laboring this work. Give a diligence to make your calling and election sure in this work, in all faith, true sincerity, and all charity, and spreading this ministry and this gospel to the other members of the Hofi Lake. And Shalom. Now, uh, the topic of this video is going to be entitled Losing Loss in the World, should I say, Loss in the World, but Gaining in Yahweh Shai. Because know uh, contrary to what these people believe and first and foremost though that's the name of our Lord uh, who these people interview really call Jesus which his true name is Yahweh Shai and also too the name of the Heavenly Father who these people interview really call God or Yahweh his name is Yahweh in the ancient Hebrew so uh, like I mentioned at the beginning of uh, the video that you know contrary to popular belief you know people think that uh you know it's a it's a common belief that you have to gain in this world just so you know they believe that to gain in this world they think that the lord is dealing with the individual that's uh gaining a lot in this world because that's a part of uh, this doctrine that they push out in these uh, these churches. That basically you have to uh, you have to gain in order to um, it's like yeah, let me get by the way uh, I'm in transit right now. But uh, basically, you have to uh, gain in order for the Lord to deal with you. You know, that's what they believe in today's doctrine. You know, that's what they push out in these uh, so-called churches. But what they don't understand is that you have to lose in this world to gain the Lord Yahweh Shai. You know, because they they thinking that, you know, because, uh, you know, you might be in a lower state in which the scriptures tell you you're going you're gonna to be in a lower state. But they see it as that, you know, the Lord's not dealing with you or, you know, you're not you're not praying or nothing like that. You know, you, you're not living your life right. Well, what they don't understand is that the Lord deals with the ones who are in the lowest state. He deals with the ones who have lost in this world. And particularly their lives. All right. You know, you had brothers that came into this truth that had uh things going for them you know they had a they, you know going for a so-called career or whatever you know they were uh probably in sports you know you had brothers that used to play sports you had brothers that was in the military you know they had things going for them but they lost that they lost those uh occupations then they lost their previous life to serve yahweh by shimmy Shai. And that's the thing, man. Our people, uh, so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, which uh, make up the uh, tribes of Israel, they don't want to lose. You know, they can't handle the uh, the condition of being in the lower state because they're not used to it. They used to live in uh, in a comfortable state. They used to living in a, in a docile, uh, ignorant. Uh, a docile, ignorant state, and they don't care that you know that Babylon continue the way it is. But once again, going back to the topic at hand, you know you have to you have to lose in this world to gain Yahweh Shai. Okay, because you're not gonna take anything from this world to the spiritual realm. And you, you're definitely not going to take anything out of this world into the kingdom. All right, that's point blank, period. All right. 
the scriptures tell you how polluted this place is and that the Lord is going to destroy it and purify it with fire all right now I'm gonna go ahead and jump into the scriptures this is uh, the book of uh, Philippians the third chapter in the eighth verse it says yea doubtless and I count all things but loss for the excellency of the knowledge of a martial how shy my Lord so we count things as a as a loss for the excellency of, of the knowledge of Yahweh Shai. All right. Once again, um, that's a part of uh, purging out the old living. Actually, let me see if I can get that uh, real quick. Uh, 1 Corinthians, the uh, fifth chapter, in the uh, seventh verse, it says, Purge out therefore the old leaven, that ye may be a new lump, as ye are unleavened, for even Yahweh Shai our Passover is sacrificed for us. And see, that's the reason why um, when we partake in the Passover, which is, um, you know, we have the Passover ceremony, you know, it starts. Um, on the uh, the 15th day, which is uh, starts at the end of the 14th day at evening, because the evening uh, is the start of the next day, in which we have the Passover, and from that whole week on, for seven days, we don't eat anything with leaven in it, and you know we don't do it just just to do it, you know we don't do it, you know, uh, just because uh. According to the law, you know, just do it just to do it, you know, and, and that'll be it. No, we do it because we, we know what that rep represents. All right. If you don't know what the leaven or, or should I say, you know, if you don't know what the uh, the Feast of Unleavened Bread represents, then, you know, you shouldn't be even partaking in it, man. You know, that's partaking in the uh, Passover unworthily. But that's another topic for another video. Um, but like the scriptures say, um, it says purge out the old leaven. That you may be a new lump as ye are unleavened. For even Yahweh Shai our Passover is sacrificed for us. Alright. And that old leaven represents the old man. Alright. That leaven represents the ways of this world. Represents the mannerisms of uh, what you picked up when you uh, grew up in this life. Before you came into the truth. Oh that's got to be purged out man. And the way that the Lord purges out that old leaven is by what by trials tribulations sufferings so that, that's how the old leaven is purged out so therefore you're made into a, a new lump or should i say uh uh you're on now you've been, been made unleavened in other words you don't carry any ways of this world man that's being purged in the spirit because uh, even um john the baptist said that um that our Lord Yahweh Shai was gonna baptize us by the Holy Spirit and by fire. And that's what he's doing right now. Alright. Now we'll go ahead, we'll go ahead and jump back to uh, Philippians the third chapter and the, uh, the uh, eighth verse. It says, Yea doubtless and I count all things but loss for the excellency of the knowledge of a Mashiach Yahweh Shai my Lord for whom I have suffered the loss of all things and do count them but dung alright now what does that mean but he says he count all but loss and, and dung when it comes to the knowledge and excellency of Yahweh Shai well he said he counts that as, as shit man alright something that's not regarded So all the things that we lose in this world is, is compared to shit. All right, it's compared to dung. All right. Because why? Because we're not gonna take any any of those things into the world into uh, the next life, man. All right. Even um, Job made a statement. Let me get it real quick. 
uh, Joe made a statement on that, right, when he was being uh, buffeted by Satan, which, uh, by the way, was ordained by our Lord uh, Yahweh Bashmi Al Shai. Because the Lord gave him uh, gave him authority over all that he has, but the only thing that he told him to do is, is not to kill Job, you know, not to lay his hands on him. All right, but Satan was hindering all the things that he possessed. All right, and when that was happening, this is what the, the statement that Job made. All right, this is uh, Job, the first chapter in, in the twenty-first verse. All right. That's it, and it reads, and he said, Naked came I out of my mother's womb, and naked shall I return thither. Yahweh Bashim Shai gave, and the Lord Yahweh Bashim Shai hath taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord Yahweh Bashim Shai. And all this Job said not, nor charged the, charged the Most High foolishly. All right. So right here, man, it says, look, <laughs> it said, naked, you come out of your mother's womb and naked, you're going to return, man. But this is one of the scriptures that our people don't take into consideration. They don't understand the, the, the depth that this verse is talking about, because this is literal, man. This is talking about in today's life, man. You got Jake that's working, you know, putting their blood, sweat and tears into something that's going to disappear that they're going to lose when they die. All right? So that's why we have the mentality of the things that we lose in this life. We compare it to, we, we uh, call it as loss and we, we count it as dung. And really, that's a good thing. All right? So that's why, once again, you know, uh, we, you know, we we're we're nothing like the world, man. All right, because the world looks at the things that are, that I hear, that I now, but when it comes to us, that are part of this fold, you know, the Lord's will, we are part of the of, of the uh, 144,000 elect number. You know, we don't we don't focus on the things of this world, man. You know, that's why. We have our eyes on the prize, so to speak. Because the prize that we look for is Yahweh Shai. Because Yahweh Shai is our savior, man. All right? You know, like I mentioned before, you know, Jake tend to forget about things like this. And they uh, especially forget that Yahweh Shai is going to be the one to forgive us. All right? He's the one who is the mediator between us and the Most High. He's the one who, who chooses who he's going to... Uh, Who's gonna forgive and pardon for for their sins, and who he's uh, who he's not gonna forgive and not pardon for their sins? All right. But that pretty much wraps up this video. You know, I'm, I'm uh, dragging it out too long. But our uh, Lord's will. Uh, this was edifying to the body of Yahweh Bashmi Al Shai to the members of the Hopi elect. And until next time, once again, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai Barhawa Kakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that continue to rule very well to this very day. Shalom, peace and safety. Salutations to the whole elect that's continually laboring his work. Give a diligence to make your call and lecture sure. In faith, also in truth, and also in sincerity and all charity. And with